Thank you. The death of bin Laden was our most strategic blow yet against Al-Qaeda. Credit for that success belongs to the courageous forces who carried out that mission at extraordinary risk to their lives. To the many intelligence professionals who pieced together the clues over the years that led to bin Laden's hideout. And to President Obama who gave the order to go in. Now one year later, it's appropriate to assess where we stand in this fight. Indeed, if the decade before 9-11 was the time of Al-Qaeda's rise, and the decade after 9-11 was the time of its decline, then I believe this decade will be the one that sees its demise. The Al-Qaeda core is simply no longer relevant. In his first days of office, President Obama banned the use of enhanced interrogation techniques, which are not needed to keep our country safe. Staying true to our values as a nation also includes upholding the transparency upon which our democracy depends. A few months after taking office, the President traveled to the National Archives where he discussed how national security requires a delicate balance between secrecy and transparency. He pledged to share as much information as possible with the American people so that they can make informed judgments and hold us accountable. He has consistently encouraged those of us on his national security team to be as open and as candid as possible as well. We reject the notion that any discussion of these matters is a step onto a slippery slope that inevitably endangers our national security. Too often, that fear can become an excuse for saying nothing at all, which creates a void that is then filled with myths and falsehoods. That, in turn, can erode our credibility with the American people and with foreign partners. And it can undermine the public's understanding and support for our efforts. In contrast, President Obama believes that done carefully, deliberately, and responsibly, we can be more transparent and still ensure our nation's security. And I'm here today because President Obama has instructed us to be more open with the American people about these efforts. And when we assess that Al-Qaeda of 2012, I think it is fair to say that as a result of our efforts, the United States is more secure and the American people are safer. Al-Qaeda is the antithesis of the peace, tolerance, and humanity that is the hallmark of Islam.